It is interesting to see where the Fruten diet has taken me. This world and its wonders work in ways I am yet to fully understand. I thought I was coming to Vilcabamba to live on fruit and nothing else. I thought I was coming to Vilcabamba to write a book about fruit and nothing else. Now I find myself in a wonderful world of possibilities, a small town filled with options. Does that mean that I am giving up on the fruitarian diet? Does it mean that I have no willpower or discipline at all? No, I don't think so. I think this proves one of my theories, but I'll talk more on that later. This morning I woke up around 8.30 a.m. And again I did my meditation, qigong and foundation training routine. It probably took me about 30 to 60 minutes. I did as much as I wanted. I pushed myself but not too much. And I feel the results in a subtle and concrete ways. For breakfast I had some bananas. For lunch a pound of tomatoes. From there I, had, I headed to Chambalabamba to meet with friends. While I was there, I was offered a little bit of soup and a little bit of pasta, and I said yes, more than anything because I like to share, I like to give, and I like to receive. I don't say yes to everything, but this food was made and offered with love. It was healthy enough for me. Some other fruitarians and raw vegans would have skipped on it, and I respect that, but this is where I am right now. I didn't really eat much and didn't notice much of a difference. It might have slowed me down a little bit, but so do avocados. Avocados also make me thirsty and dehydrate me quite a bit. Does this mean they are bad or is it simply cause and effect? I will continue to explore with flexibility and I still find myself to be mostly fruitarian, eating over 90% of my calories from fruit. I will also continue to let you in on these experiences so you can learn, grow and be. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.